So let's install IBM App Connect. We need to run the install files that we downloaded. We are accepting license agreement. And just wait for a few seconds. Okay, now we are ready to start Enterprise Integration Toolkit. Choose the directory for workspace. And here we are. Okay, the next step is to create and start integration server. For this, I'm going to use IBM App Connect Enterprise Console. First of all, let's create work directory for integration server. Okay, now we are using command mqc create work video. As you can see, we have here server conf yaml configuration file with default settings. And also we have some directories for which will be used by integration server. Now let's start our integration server. We need to use the command integration server next. We specify name and work tier. Okay, so integration server started. Now we can connect to it from toolkit. Let's make a new connection. I must specify host and port. It's a local host. And default port is 7600. As you can see, uh, we can change this setting in our server conf yaml file for rest admin listener port okay as you can see we successfully connected to our integration server now let's install ibm mq so we have a zip archive now, for example here let's launch setup exam you can check the requirements here some preparation okay it's large installation Accept the agreement. It's a typical installation. Please notice the top level folder. Installation name. Okay, after it's done.
Okay, now we can create QE Manager to work with. We choose QE Managers and make new. Let's name it QM1, for example. And we can specify that letter QE. Okay, it's a default settings. I'm not going to change anything now. Listen on port 1414. Let's wait for a few seconds. And it's running. Okay. The next, we should complete several steps to associate our MQ manager. QE manager with ABM AppConnect integration server. So as you can see, first of all, we need to create the set of special QEs in our QE manager. To do this, we have to just run special prepared command file. Let's find it. specify the name of our QE manager is QM1. So it's done. Um, let's check the system queries. And here we are. This is a new queues that have been created by this script. Okay. The next step is to associate our QE manager with our integration server. As you can see, there is no default QE manager now for our integration server. So let's change default QE manager property in our YAML configuration file. M1 and save. Okay, let's launch integration server one more time. Let's refresh. As you can see, now our integration server has default QE manager QM1.